Hi, my name's Don and I'm an old school kind of guy. Now I've had more than one person ask me in, in the last few weeks about a specific condition I addressed briefly in one of my other videos about city water versus well water. And uh, this problem appears to be occurring more often in America so I'm going to address it. Better include Canada because one of these guys was from Canada. All right, we'll let you in. And for all I know, it's happening elsewhere around the world. People are getting high nitrates in their tap water. Now, what do we do for high nitrates? We do water changes. <laughs> well, that's one of the things we do. We do water changes because of keeping our water clean, which means Every time we do a water change, we reduce the ammonia, nitrites, and nitrates because those are three things we test for. Water changes affect a lot of other things. I get it. But what do you do if your tap water has high nitrates? And remember, I suggest you test your tap water before every water change. Because tap water, whether you're city or well, tap water can change the attributes based on recent storms, any new agricultural activity, any new industrial activity, and probably a lot of other things. So for high nitrates in your tap water on a consistent basis, most often an issue for wells in rural areas. What do I suggest? Well, first off, I'm going to suggest you get a 45 gallon trash can. Um, I have one that's on wheels. Um, a round one, and I say round and not because I like the shape, but because it's the only thing I've seen where you don't have to tip the trash can onto wheels. The ones that you tip the trash can onto the wheels, those wheels tend to break. <laughs> so, um, I paid about $40 for mine at Lowe's. You can probably go to Home Depot or Menards or whatever big hardware store you have nearby. Get something for about the same price. Um, some stores may not sell the trash can with the wheels already attached, but I've seen uh, trash cans where the wheels are separate, you just pay more. Now, you take that trash can, or you can use anything else, any container that holds water. Uh, you put water in it and you add a seasoned filter. Um, maybe some sponges. If you have sponge filters and they've been uh, seasoned in a, in a tank, so you've got good bacterial activity. Um, maybe you use an extra canister you've got laying around. HOBs don't work well on round containers, but you could um, devise your own way of hanging an HOB in there. Um, you do whatever to have water in there and start getting it treated for high nitrates. Okay, one of the things that can help is using some chemicals that lower nitrates. There are chemicals that do that. I don't know what they are. Go look it up because I don't care. I don't use them. I don't like chemicals. I've said that before. <laughs> now, by the way, I'm the same way about medications even though I'm an old diabetic with other health issues and I have to take medications. I still don't like them take as few as possible. Treat my fish the same way. Okay, so you put the water in the trash can or whatever container and you leave it sit there for a few days being treated. How long do you leave it in there? That's a trick question. You leave it in there until the nitrates are down to acceptable levels. <laughs> if that means you have to treat for two weeks, number one, do more treatment, more filters, whatever. And number two, get more trash cans. Um, you treat the water until the nitrates are acceptable. That's the answer. It's not hard. Um, other things that might help with this whole process is getting some pothos plants. P-O-T-H-O-S. Very common household plant. Um, you put the roots in the water and the leaves outside the water and make sure you got good lighting on it and pothos will grow like crazy and they suck up a lot of nitrates out of your water. 
Uh, both those works well in a fish tank too with most fish. Some fish might eat the roots up but most don't. Um, pothos is a, a good plant to use to suck up nitrates. Um, uh, along that lines is one I've mentioned before and I'll mention here again. Uh, willow tree branches. If you have a willow tree nearby you, you go out and you clip off just the, the small end of multiple branches and uh, how many? Well, try 10 and then in 45 gallons and then see what happens and maybe you add more maybe you do less the next time. Um, find a way to stick these willow branches about this far uh, this much of the willow branch into the water taking all the leaves off there and leave the rest outside the water and in a couple of weeks the willow branches will have sucked up a lot of nitrates. Um, and uh, I don't know how long you can use the willow branches like that. Try it. Experiment. Test for yourself. Um, plants, plants will help uh, use nitrates. There you go. That's pre-treating for high nitrates in the tap water. Uh, knowing the way my videos go, I'll probably get more follow-up questions. That's fine. Um, as some of you have found out, I'm willing to give a lengthy answer in the comments on the videos. Hey, all I'm trying to do is help you have fun because that's why we do this hobby, right? To have fun. Bye.